That's right, Kathy. These Coach USA buses are delivering Summerfest fans from Waukesha County, but without the Milwaukee County Transit buses, there will be more cars down here and likely more traffic jams. The fear is some people just won't come, and Summerfest president and CEO says the bottom line is the strike is bad for business. We've had stories about people walking 35 blocks to get here to come to work. Summerfest president Don Smiley sat down with me exclusively to talk about how the bus driver strike hurts all of those who count on the buses, including hundreds of workers who need to get to their festival jobs. It will also keep some customers away. There will be X amount of people that, that you know, this will affect and they, they won't show up, which will affect our business. Summerfest is counting on music fans like Cody Robbins of New Berlin to be resourceful and find alternate ways of getting to Milwaukee's lakefront. No bus means no free ride back. Got to deal with all the traffic coming through. Other Summerfest fans are willing to make the sacrifice to support the union bus drivers. I was actually going to take the bus to Summerfest today, but because of the strike, I wasn't able to. But I really do support their decision in going on strike. Smiley says 17% of Summerfest fans ride buses to get to the festival. We have some money in reserves, uh, the rainy day fund, if you will. Uh, it looks like it's not going to rain, but it's, it's probably the bus fund now that, that we're going to have to dip into. And the show goes on. The bands are hired. The food stands are open. And Smiley says typically about 850,000 people come to Summerfest, and they were tracking right along with attendance and revenue. They won't know how much the strike hurts business until the 11 days are over. Live in Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News.